All right, another day, another dollar. Oh. Pop master. <laughs> Missing it today. Carol loves pop master, but we haven't got time for that this morning because we've arrived in Brixham. Now all we've got to do is find somewhere to park. Old habits die hard. We're still spotting public toilets even though we're not in the van. Well, it was much too busy in the town centre car park. We'll try the harbour this time, I think. Well, it's a very grey day and it looks very misty at the moment. Ooh, here comes a big one. I think these lorries are picking up from the fish market. They got a big fancy new one now. What a lovely day. It's a little bit misty. Yeah. So I'm in the market for a crab sandwich mm. and something else nice. From what I could see online, Brixham is the third largest fishing port in the UK and that's concerning tonnage of fish landed challenging conditions for anyone moving around here today this is the new fish market <laughs> I wouldn't mind one of these markets where we live it all sounds very industrial over this side of the harbour The old ship is a full-size replica of the Golden Hind that was captained by Sir Francis Drake and it was the first English ship that sailed around the world between 1577 and 1580. It's been in the harbour for over 50 years and has featured in many TV programmes and films. I can't imagine they're selling much ice cream today, but the donuts do look nice. It's nice and quiet today. This place would be absolutely heaving in the summer and you'd have a hard job finding a place to park. Time to get that sandwich I've been craving. Okay, so they've confirmed the next Airbnb and there'll for a be a Saturday. Devon cream tea waiting for your arrival. <laughs> that sounds delicious. You'll like that, won't you? Thank you. Ooh, that looks lovely. Mm. Now that would be a nice little camper. The mist has started to lift and so now I can show you Brixham from the air. So much nicer now the mist is lifting and lots more people seem to be arriving all the time. Seagulls can be a bit of a nuisance when they're after your chips 
but the sound of them bring back so many happy memories of holidays with my family. Interesting weather conditions today because that mist keeps rolling in and then disappearing again. That's the Shoalstone Outdoor Pool over there, open between May and September, saltwater swimming at its finest. I don't know what the abandoned building is, but I think that's Berry Head. Near the end of the pier we've got this old dock, but it's looking very dilapidated now. Can't be much about if the rods are on the wall. I wonder what's going on with those things. I wonder if they're growing muscles. Look at this huge slipway. That played a role in the Second World War. The Americans departed from here for Utah Beach on D-Day. After our walk on the pier, we went over to this little beach where there was a cafe at the end. I find the older I get, the more I just like to sit and take in the world and see what other people are doing. <laughs> we love the beach and we're very lucky to live near the coast. There was a wonderful smell here and we couldn't resist joining in. Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> It was my idea to get them, but she didn't put up a fight. Which one finds this place? Nice. Yeah. Nice subjects. Mm. Oh, watch things don't blow away now. Very soft. Soft and delicious, just like I like them. What do you think? Oh, nice. Very soft, but yeah. nice and doughy. Mm. Mm. After the donuts, we began our walk back to the car and came upon one of the great British pastimes. People enjoy crabbing on piers in the UK because it's a fun and accessible activity, especially for families with children. It can be done at any time of the year and in any weather. Well, we hope you enjoyed this little video and if you did, please give us a like, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and share us with your friends. In the meantime, we'll catch you in the next one. This is quite